you doing, everybody? What's going on? Of course, I'm Nick. I'm Ray Nice. And this is another edition of He Say. She Say. And um, we're going to get straight to it. You know? Uh, first topic, cuffing season. <laughs> now, you know, for everybody who doesn't know what cuffing season is, it's a period of time when a man or a woman wants a woman or a man to secure companionship and sexual favors for a particular season. Now, cuffing season started September 12th and ends May 18th, which is May 18th, 2012, which is 10 days before September 12th. September 12th ends May 18th of next year, and it's 10 days before Memorial Day. So pretty much it's saying a man or woman is going to cuff another woman or man till it gets cold until summertime comes. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's some deep shit, huh? And so we're going at the end of summer. So cover season basically starts in the one time. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel about that? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I never heard of it as cuffing season. Cuffing season. But I've heard, like, you know, people get in relationships when it gets cold, you know, right. have somebody to lay up with. Yeah, and then the summer, you know, you got to break it off to get buck wild or whatever. Yeah. I mean, but, uh, it's happening. Women, man, watch yourself, man, because they come, they coming out there, like bats out of hell. <laughs> like it's getting really, it's getting really ridiculous out there, man. It, it makes somewhat sense. In the summer, that's when you had the most fights in the club, and <laughs> yeah, people <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Okay. Um. Next topic. Does a relationship or mate, or does a perfect relationship or mate exist? Hmm. No, I don't, I don't think so. Why? Because nobody's perfect and people get wrapped up in that. Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone knows there's not a perfect person that exists um, on this earth. Um, therefore, there will be no perfect relationships. I mean, what people have to, I think, understand is that flaws are, are, are a person that you're not interested in, like a certain type of person, say you don't like short people, you don't like um, uh, whatever. Um, I think you get, people get that mixed up with finding a perfect person. Every little thing is not going to be great about them. Some stuff you're going to have to work with. You're going to have to get used to because therefore you're going to continue to keep looking for this perfect person that doesn't exist. I mean. I say it like this. Um, just how, how life is an everyday process. Relationships and is an is a, is a everyday process. If you have a good relationship or you have a piss poor relationship, you thinking that, okay, one day it's going to be perfect, you need to just go ahead and get that out of your mind because if there was a such thing, just like you said, if there was a such thing as perfect, then it would be nothing to strive for. You see what I'm saying? So, no, I agree with Nace, Ray Nice. That's the first that, uh, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> But that also goes with not lowering your expectations, you know what I mean? You right. can't, still you can't be like, oh, this is the best I can get, or I don't need a, you know, a person who's going to share 50-50 with me. I, you know, I know men are not like that, or women are not like that. That's not the case, because there are, right. you know, things that you can't strive for and get from a person, but you can't get that mixed up with, you know, you're just going to keep looking you're going to be looking for the rest of your life. I mean, it's going to be stuff that exactly. you don't like. Exactly. And it's going to be stuff they don't like about you, so. Right. But I see it like this. Um, there's a lot of people who 
or in bad relationships. There's a lot of people who are content relationships. And some people are happy in a relationship. You never want to be content. Right. Because if you're content, then you're always thinking in the back of your mind, okay, I can be happy. Right, right, <laughs> right. Yep, yep, that's right. So, you know. And everybody deserves that, so. Everybody deserves to be happy. Never settle for being content. That's, that's. Or thinking that you can't survive without that person. You know, people have to first, like, learn how to survive on their own before you get wrapped up in somebody because then you're dependent on that person. It's okay to be dependent on somebody you love. I mean, y'all should be there for one another, but not to the point where you don't know what to do. Right. And then something happened between y'all and you just lost. And if you got kids, that's even worse. You got to be able to get up, get out there, get a job. It's people who don't even know how to do a resume. You know what I mean? Because they're sitting up here staying with whoever mm -hmm. and don't have to do shit. That's really not the case. You know what I'm saying? There's other things to that. Exactly. You know what I mean? And usually it, it involves being unhappy. So. Right. Right. And, you know, just to, to put the stamp on this topic, I think if you're in a relationship, you want somebody that you can learn from and, and they can learn from you. Right. And that's... Without bringing you down. Without bringing you down. You have to do it the right way. Exactly. And if you're not, if you're not in a relationship that does not involve that, then you might not be in the right relationship. Yeah. That's anyway, true. switching subjects a little bit. You know, sometimes we like to joke around, give a silly <laughs> idea. Now, um, now, these are just my opinions, but I want women to, to think about it. Yes. Ticklish niggas. Okay. Now think about it. Oh, uh, okay, that's fine. My man, he's ticklish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But think about this. Say you and your man are in a dark alley. You know, God forbid none, none of that happens to our viewers. And you're about to get robbed. Would you feel completely 100% confident that your man can maybe fight off this attacker if he's a ticklish nigga? <laughs> really? Really? Right, niece? <laughs> I'm just saying, I think those niggas are suspect. Now, when Nick sent me this, you know, he sent me this. I took him seriously, but then I'm like, what the hell? Like, this dude is crazy. <laughs> but as we discuss this, I mean, as silly as it sounds, there's some, there's some, something interesting about it. No, I really, I probably would kind of think like, damn. If he did do nothing, I'd be like, damn, I see why this thing is, <laughs> it's ticklish. <laughs> We didn't got robbed because this nigga's <laughs> tickled, man. Damn. I know he took too long in that bag. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I kind of, it's, it's kind of interesting that that might be a focal point when need be. Watch out for those ticklers, niggas. Man. <laughs> those niggas are suspect. All right, shit. I don't care. Whatever. That's just my opinion. Anyway, next topic. Which I think is a very interesting one. Now, you know, everybody's talking about, oh, man, keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Whenever you start, to talk, start talking to somebody, females or males be like, hey, what do you, what do you want in a relationship? What, what, are you, what are you trying to do? So how would you feel if you started talking to somebody and they came to you and was like, hey, all I really want to do is just have sex with you? How would you take that? Would you be like, whoa, whoa, whoa? And would you be like, okay, cool. Well, at, least he's, at least he or she is keeping it real. Okay, you asked me what would my answer be to him or Yeah. Um or if, if you feeling him, y'all talking or whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, for months and he just come out and be like, you know, I really just want to Oh, I'm it. talking to him for months. Yeah. Months okay. I don't know, weeks or whenever. And he just comes out and says, Look, you know, I don't mm -hmm. want Yeah, I don't really want, you know what I mean? Well, nine times out of ten I'd be offended. Right. And I probably would be like, well, we're looking for two different things. I mean, I'm not looking to fuck around ever. Right. Ever. You know what I'm saying? So that doesn't, I mean, it's not, it doesn't mean that you're not interested in people and you wouldn't be like, hmm, you know, I wonder or I would love to just 
me just fucking somebody and then they go on about their business. You know what I mean? I don't have to be in that state of mind to be like, well, yeah. But if I'm, so I'll put it like that. If I was in that state of mind, well, I'd be like, you know, oh, I'm fine with just fucking you know, type of relationship. But if I'm not, then hell no. Well, like, I mean, because you know, some people, they, some people do that. Some people come across and be like, oh, yeah, we working on something. But really, they just want to fuck. You see what I'm saying? Right. So. Well, that's, I will respect it. Exactly. Now, I definitely will respect it because I like to know up front before we waste each other's time. Right. So, I mean, that would be great if people actually did that. Just came out of the blue and like, hey. That, you know, it would probably be a lot less. Less, less drama. People, people breaking hurt. up after exactly. five years because then you start getting stuck. See, that's when people mess up, mess up. You know what I mean? You're not thinking like, damn, you know, do I really want to be here? Then you get. You spend longer time wasting your time trying to get out of it because you never really want to be in that first place. Mm -hmm. So, um, another topic we have: um, Is there a time limit on when you have sex with somebody? <sighs> I'm just going to speak from a male's perspective because our, if you males, we really don't have no time limit. We waiting on the women. So whenever the women are down, shit. If a woman puts it out there, more, nine times out of ten, a male's gonna take it. Unless she's kind of whore or, you know what I mean, some other shit. You be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And he cares about his health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. But I think women, of course, y'all have. Well, yeah, that's. I think it's because women um, usually sex is like more emotion mm -hmm. off top. And men is more like a physical thing first, mm. then the emotions come. Right. But like women are like very emotional, so you know what I mean? It's like it's it's gonna take more time. A woman wants to usually nine times out of ten, whatever, a woman doesn't wanna just meet and have sex. They're not cool with that. They do want a time limit. But most of the time it don't happen like that either. So yeah. I mean it's a lot of women out there who have sex the first yeah. time they meet dudes. Yeah. You know, I, I don't judge them. It's women who like just to have a relationship like that and not have to, you know. Because they don't want to get emotionally. Deal with it, yeah. Just want to be able to have somebody come around just like men do and, and leave when they don't want to fool with them. All right. All right. So. I don't know. I think, that's a, re I think that's a regular human emotion though because there's people in relationships that just get tired and be like, you know, I wish <laughs> this was a wish. <laughs> so anyway, I think that's kind of regular though. But I, I would have, I have a time limit. And what is your time limit? Mm. Is that two person? Yeah, cause it would, it, it. I don't know. <laughs> so what now? I don't know. <laughs> I have a time limit. Okay. It's I definitely ain't Months? down no one night stand. Weeks. No two weeks. Years. Years? No, not years. Months? Because a lot of women have six months. Mm -hmm. A lot of women have three yeah. months. A lot of women have two weeks. I know. I'm thinking. I'm thinking like a, a month or two. A month or two? Okay. You know. Shut up. I'm, I'm kind of a hard <laughs> person to deal with. Yeah. To give that because I mean <laughs> I am. It's. I'm kind of a hard person to, to do that. I, I did have a time limit, but... Things happen. You know, you might be in the moment, you might be out in the club, you start drinking, and you really feeling this person. Yeah. Shit happens. Yeah. Well, when when you're younger, though... Yeah, when you're like, younger. When you're younger, when you get older, like you Like, the first like, person, that's... I. You know? What? It really wasn't no time limit. <laughs> I mean, the person who broke my virginity really wasn't no time left. And I ended up marrying the person. Oh, you know, so, that was a good thing. Was, you know? It ended, but still. I'm just saying with no time limit there, so that's why I'm not saying that. But I, I would have a time limit. And I think a good, like, after about a month, a month and a half, you kind of know where things, you should know where things you are should. going. If you should. If after a month and a half, you don't know which, which way this person's going. Yeah. I'm trying to move on. True. Anyway, 
We appreciate everybody watching. Send your uh, comments in. If you have anything you'd like us to talk about, if you want to be a guest on the show. Please, we would love to have guests, you know. Of course, you can hit Renice up on Twitter, Renice the Champ. Of course, you can hit me on Twitter, at Nick Brundage. Um, come check us out. Renice, you got what you working on? Same old Big Phil, baby. Big Phil, baby! <laughs> shout out to Phil. He doing big things. Oh, shout out to China Lee. She got a um. Yeah, yeah, show, I seen it. Uh, with Big Crit. Yeah, and um, I think it's in October sometime. I think it's like in the next week. Oh, or my bad, my bad. No, like oh, October. That is October. October. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in October. Shout out to her. That's a very good look. Very good. In Meridian, look. right? Shout out to China Lee. We right. fuck with China Lee. Yeah. I don't know. We don't know all the details. Just go to anyway, her, go to yeah. her page. The real China Lee on Twitter. Yeah, in action. Right. Um. Course 10, 21, 11. You and cheese and this bullshit. Hey, stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. That's some big. Sending Facebook status. It's 10, 21. I mean, you know, don't play. What the hell is going on? 10, 21. I mean, yeah. Yeah, 10, 21, oh, yeah. 11. Oh, yeah. Tremaine, cheese, thanks. Shout out to the Commonwealth Dream Team. We get bigger and better every day. Um, Till next time, we out. Deuces.